And just like clockwork, Warner Bros. has dropped a teaser trailer for Aquaman 2. This amid a ton of clamoring from fans who feared the studio was leaving this flick by the wayside. WB must have been paying attention to all the Twitter chirping, cause they literally uploaded a 30 second promo with a promise of the full trailer dropping. Thursday, in the teaser, it gives you a sense of the action and the plot. But there's one notable absence, not much footage of Amber Heard that we can see here. Time will tell if she's in the full trailer. DC fans think Jason Momoa and Amber Heard are getting sidelined in the lead up to Aquaman 2. And the rumored reason, the studio's reportedly preparing for a bomb. The comic book crowd is in a frenzy this weekend amid some gossip about Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, which is coming out in December, but which has yet to show off any official marketing material including first looks, teaser trailers, or much of anything else. The lack of promotion is starting to concern some of the most fervent DC heads. And many have wondered why Warner Brothers is taking their time. Welp, one purported comic book scooper, who's often credited with insider knowledge, says he has the answer. Casey Walsh of the GWW wrote in response to one fan, because they know it's bad. They know it'll lose money. And they aren't putting a marketing budget behind it at all. It's unclear if KC is actually citing sources within the industry. Or if he's just floating his own theory on why the trailers have been slow to roll out. So take his words here with a grain of salt. Still, though, his report is being taken seriously by a lot of comic-centric outlets. More importantly, the logic seems to make sense to many, and this all has to do with how DC's latest big superhero. Movies recently did at the box office, of course, there's Blue Beetle, which didn't make much money at all, but the big mistake lies in the flash. The Ezra Miller-led film reportedly cost hundreds of millions of dollars to both shoot and market. And as we all now know, the movie performed abysmally, leaving WB in the red. Lop on the alleged fact that this new movie supposedly stinks. And it's no wonder Warner would be wary to pour even more money into Aquaman 2, the budget of, which is said to have ballooned north of $200 million through a ton of different reshoots amid the pandemic. Plus, there's the strike that's still ongoing. Not to mention lingering Amber hate, as well as James Gunn's overarching reboot of the DCU. With all these factors combined, it's easy to see why WB possibly scaling back the Aquaman to roll out actually checks out. Warner might have experienced a windfall in Barbie, but appear to have issues elsewhere.